daddy's not ready. Ooh, my favorite part is when we wing it, though. Yeah, I'm just... I, I'll shut up. Let's go. We're doing it. One, Let's go. two, Mike, Mikey, good old Mikey. Wait, no, it's me. Uh, welcome back to another episode of Rough Boys. Boy, we're off to a rough start tonight. Having troubles. The rough boys. <laughs> rough boys. <laughs> Ooh, rough time. Trying to shake off the dust. And it's been a while. Uh, yeah, it's, it's been, been a minute. minute. And uh, Jinx, you owe me a coke, Michael. Okay. Okay. We'll share it. You know, you're we'll gonna come down it. to get it. We'll huh? share it. I'll drive <laughs> down there and we'll share it. Two straws. Or an iced tea works. Yeah, an iced tea would be fun. Some green tea. Yeah. Um, we have. Uh, kind of an, an obscure, well, not an obscure band to us, but um, yeah. Uh, uh, I haven't so, heard. Them. I haven't heard them before. Right. So you'll you'll have you'll have to lay it on me. Yeah. So yeah. this this band is called War of Ages. They're a Christian metal band. They're really cool. Uh, me, Mike, and Zach have been following them for a while, uh, and they're pretty great. And we wanted to show them some love on the channel. And maybe show you guys if you haven't heard of them to maybe give them a look. Mike, what's uh, yeah. what's the name of this song? This is Dominus off their new album, which just came out, I think, like last month, or maybe a, more than a little more than that. But yeah, it's, uh, it's a brand new song. Fresh. Um, fresh. Yes. Uh, I'm excited for this new album because it's just they've been stepping their game up with every album since i mean must have been 08 when i first started uh listening to these guys they actually added me on myspace that's how i found out about these guys hey. so <laughs> nice yeah did, i didn't did know that, that did that make you feel yeah. special oh it did man i felt so special and then i went right out right down to uh crossroads christian bookstore and bought me their first album Nice. Pretty sweet. Yeah. Like, move over, Tom. I got War of Ages on my page. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm excited for this song. Excited for you guys to hear it. Uh, like Chris said, they're kind of, they're unabashedly Christian, which I love that about these guys. Um, yeah, they don't hold back. It's hard to find bands like that, but, I mean, just a couple more if you're looking for them. Demon Hunter. Very great band. Uh, lyrics are off the charts. And Wolves at the Gate, another great Christian metal band. Uh, those guys are freaking poets. Love it. Mm. All right, cool. Let's get into it. Yeah. Shall we? Ooh. Close captions on that bad boy. No. Oh, no. Sorry, nope. All good. Good. 
I expect nothing less, you know? Mm. Mm-hmm. Just quality, um, quality metalcore, right? Yeah. Do 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 we still call this metalcore? I think so. Yeah, I think I it's think safe so. to say. Um, yeah, just quality. Recording quality is nice. Album art is sick. You mm-hmm. know, it'll be interesting to see if they uh, come out with a music video for this track or if they'll do another track, but. I really yeah, like it. That'd be cool. I, I Dude, mean, I'm, yeah. Grew up listening to this kind of stuff, and it's it's cool to see that <clears throat> that those Christian metalcore bands are still putting in the work. You know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I I agree. I, I really like it. Uh, it's like comforting music to us because we grew up with it, mm-hmm. <laughs> and it's like it's just so good. The lyrics are good. The music is good. Yeah, I, I have I, to I have no complaints. I'd have to listen to it a couple times to, to kind of like get the lyrics. Mm-hmm. I don't get it. I don't read it right off the bat. Like first time through, I have to kind of go through multiple times to mm-hmm. right intake. Now, Marshall, you don't mind screaming though, right? No. Yeah. I think a lot of people have a hard time with this. Even, even um, we were talking about this earlier, even some, a, a lot of metal fans uh, don't love the screaming, you know? Yeah. It's kind of hard for them to get on board with it, which I understand. It's, you know, it's it's an extreme art style, you know? It's it's mm-hmm. not for everybody. It just means you got to take your time to learn the lyrics more. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I love bands, metal bands that are very lyrically based, where it's... It's weighty, you know. Their mm. their lyrics are, you know. Oh, they're definitely weighty. Entire books, you know, Damn. and yeah, like everything these guys are they're quoting scripture, which I think is freaking awesome. I caught that. And yeah. It's, I mean, in the first chorus, they're quoting scripture. The uh, the first verse is scripture, and it's just amazing when they wrap it up around really well done musicianship you know oh yeah mm. i think these guys have like have all of it so yeah. good stuff i, agree I really like that. it and you know what um uh just one more thing when it comes to screaming it's something you <laughs> this sounds silly but any serious musical listener will know what i'm talking about you got to learn to like it right Jazz, <laughs> yeah, jazz, yeah. You have to learn to like it. Some classical mm-hmm. music, you got to learn to like it. It's not pop. It's not easily accessible. There's a bit of a barrier to entry, right? You know, and, and you almost right. you, you got to teach yourself to appreciate it. You got to read the lyric, you know, and, and then you come to have an appreciation for it, you know. Because I, I know that was my journey. I hated it at first, you know. Uh, when I was a young, 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 young lad, I was like, what are these guys saying? You know, this is just That's funny, you know, but you got to learn to like it, you know, like all great art forms. You got to you got to kind of learn to like it. Yeah, I actually started out really hating metal as well. I didn't so like it funny. at all. Yeah, I thought it was just like it's so funny coming from a screamer. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude, I thought it was mindless music and yeah. until I really dug in and was like, "Holy crap!" Yeah, this is like jazz just sped up, or blues <laughs> right. sped up, or you know, right. like you take all these influences, and then you find out that a bunch of uh, metalheads who are playing are more interested in other music, and you're like, "Man, that's just dude, that's isn't awesome. isn't that you know? funny?" Like metal head like metal bands members mm-hmm. of other metal bands you ask them and a lot of them don't even really listen to much metal they do yeah but what they're li- you ask them what they're listening to daily they're gonna say things that you wouldn't you wouldn't expect bb king bb king <laughs> miles davis yeah. you know yeah. uh I, I can imagine that yeah yeah mm-hmm. yeah, yeah oh yeah yeah that's just how it is um awesome I don't know. All right. Let's let's uh let's finish it out. Now, 
nice clean vocals. Yeah. And they have amazing solos. cool song <laughs> that was awesome so yes. i'm glad i waited mike you were like dude you should listen to this while you're driving i was like man, man. we should react to it and <laughs> i'm glad i waited that was really yeah. good yeah man the tempo uh, think, the, Marsh? the temp i'm sorry the tempo change at the end was great yes what do you think i like yeah. that i like that it it had a good flow from different like plateaus of the mat uh of genre taste, I like, or oh, I don't know. Yeah, what. like musicality, just yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, yeah. and and that's a great point, Marsh. Metalcore is great at dynamics, dynamic mm -hmm. changes, mm -hmm. right? For sure. You know, and don't sleep on those clean vocals. Those clean vocals were just that; they were clean. You know, mm -hmm. it was yeah. uh, that was really good. I do like yeah. that because I wouldn't necessarily go out of my way to listen to one that's just a, a consistent droning across the whole yeah. thing right yeah yeah, th those... yeah that... go ahead <laughs> that's like a, that's a problem a lot of people have with metal is just yeah. it's just like the cookie monster you know, <laughs> thing in a song which is like, legitimate why listen? <laughs> that's a legitimate <laughs> complaint right yeah, yeah but you know well we we grew up on metal so yeah dude uh so my bad. Their first album was in 2006. Jeez. That's a lifetime that was, ago. That was three years before we started playing, dude. Dude, I saw a meme today that said um, 2006 is just as far away as 2040. What? Right, well, right. Yeah. Dude. Oh, my God. We're getting old, oh. man. We're getting up there, boys. I just ordered a scooter. It's sitting on the front porch. I need to put it together. Also, I'm getting one, getting one of those chair lifts to, 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 cause I live on a, on a split level. So I got two sets of stairs. So I'm going to get one of those chair lifts. I need two of them. Oh those yeah. Chair lifts yeah. So I don't got to go up the stairs anymore. You know, I think, I think they're sending out halfway birthdays to AARP membership now too. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yes, I got I'm so, why am yes, I getting a yeah. why am I getting AARP magazines already? <laughs> <laughs> we thought you just wanted to start early. Do you guys think that they will now that we're getting up there, right? And we grew up on this kind of music. Yeah. And there's Christian, basically Christian worship metal. You think mm. it'll ever be played in churches as, oh, as worship man. music? Wow. I would love that so probably, much. You probably have to go to the, the youth group. Not not main yeah. services. There's yeah. got to be. For sure. 
I wonder, there's got to be churches out there who focus specifically on reaching the metal community. So maybe, you know, yeah. yeah. I mean, he, yeah. dude, I was, you know, we, we played at that youth event, that back to school yeah, bash. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Dude, yeah, know. we were at the church. We are, we were there yeah. for the youth kids. And our, our, a yeah. lot of our lyrics were basically just worship lyrics, but we were screaming them instead of singing them. <laughs> 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 you know? Yeah. It's funny because, like, a lot of European music, is uh you know it's based on their gods and their yeah their pa- ancient cultures yeah kind of neo paganism yeah yeah and you know this is this is Christian metal it's like it's like our version of that basically mm. yeah yeah dude that's a we're that's just, a great way to put it we're singing about our God and worshiping mm-hmm. our God yeah it's totally. obviously different but <laughs> yeah dude but we're I all never... in the metal family <laughs> yeah. I'll never forget playing at Old World Brewery. And mm. uh, we were standing in the circle talking with all the bands. And the headliner, or it wasn't the headliner, the, the band, two bands before us, it was, <laughs> they were Satanists. Mm. Yeah. And uh, they asked us, you know, what we, what we were. And we're like, oh, we're Christian metal heads, you know, we're just. They were doing so much fun, coke backstage. Stuff they were but they loved us oh they were yeah. like dude that's so sick you dude know? we were we <laughs> became friends man there? so here's this Christ- awesome. yeah dude you're yeah. so right here's this christian band great. and here's this satanist band like doing mm-hmm. coke in the back <laughs> but like by the end of the show we were we were we were we were best friends those guys oh, were cool. yeah the Just guy to was clarify, we weren't doing coke. we weren't doing coke no, we, we were they were they were doing coke we yeah. said no thanks we'll pass <laughs> but yeah, yeah i'll never forget that just the guy asking me about like you know so why are you guys a christian band and what do you follow and, and i just started sharing with him the gospel and everything yeah, yeah, and i yeah. was like i was like when you look at the crucifixion of jesus it's kind of the most brutal thing you could possibly think. pretty yeah, metal it's pretty metal like, <laughs> that's <laughs> sick man <Dude. laughs> brutal like, brutal he he resonated with that so i was like hey it's you know yeah it's didn't metal. He say- he said something like, "Man, that takes takes a lot of balls, basically, to yeah. to come out here as a Christian band in this metal scene, and like mm-hmm. just proudly proclaim that you're Christian, yeah, you know, yeah, unabashedly." Dude, those those that those were fun days, man. Yeah, and then I remember Dude. we got they liked us so much after the show we got invited to the after party. We did. Where there was gonna be spoiler alert more coke <laughs> so we and booze. Pol- and booze we politely declined and uh got those guys numbers uh, we never did another show with them did we no no yeah uh, we kind of lost touch yeah i don't know how long they were around there were some older guys yeah they yeah exactly but instead but. of we went to Waffle House instead. That was fun. <laughs> That's a good choice. You know? that, yeah. or, that or Denny's. Say hi to the, to the drunk people there. Yeah. Right? Yeah. That was good stuff. Man, Mike, uh, thanks for bringing this song up, man. I love this band. I'm glad we got to listen yeah, to it. Yeah, dude. Heck yeah. yeah I'll have to take, glad a, you guys I'll enjoyed it. I'll have to take a peek myself. Yeah. And Heck yeah. Marsh, I'll send you a link. There's... I can't think of it now, but it's it's one of their earlier albums. That's really good. All cool. of it's really good. But... Yeah. All right. Well, thanks again for watching this episode of Rough Boys. And uh, yeah, we love you guys, family, friends. And we hope to see you next time on Rough Boys uh, React. Oh, boy. See ya. Rough boys out. out. Oh, yeah, rough boys out. We're doing that. Rough boys out. Rough boys out. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Like and subscribe. Smash that bell.